Welcome to the first week of the Ascot Quilt Along. Watch on YouTube every Sunday. Share your progress on Instagram. Download the PDFs from poppypatchwork.com. This is a video for the first block, which is churn dash. For this, you're going to need four, four and a half by two and a half inch strips in background fabric, two five and a quarter inch squares, and one four and a half inch square. And in fabric A, you're going to need four, four and a half by two and a half inch strips, and two five and a quarter inch squares. I've designed this quilt block notebook, which I use when I'm planning out the blocks that I'm going to do videos for, and you may find it useful. You can buy it from Amazon, and if you scan this code using your phone, it'll take you straight to the Amazon page for it. Now, let's get quilting. So we're going to begin by joining the strips together. So for this, I'm going to match the um, fabric A with the background fabric, and we're going to sew along the long edge. So I'm going to take those over to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam along the long edge. So I'm going to set these seams now and press towards the green fabric. So I'm going to set those to one side and now we're going to make the half square triangles. So for this, we're going to need the five and a quarter inch squares. So I'm going to put that small four and a half inch square in background fabric to one side. I'm going to flip this over. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line on the wrong side of the background fabric. So when I do this, I always start in the center and draw to the edge. This stops the fabric dragging underneath the pencil. And now I'm going to pin them right sides together with the green fabric. I should have ironed that piece, it's getting in my way, so I'm going to quickly iron that piece. There, that's a bit flatter. So now I'm going to pin these right sides together. When I take these over to the sewing machine, I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam on both sides of the drawn line. So I'll line the edge of the foot up with the line and sew a quarter inch away from the line on both sides of the line. So 
So now I need to cut along that drawn line. And we need to trim these to four and a half inch square. So I'm going to show you how to do that with a standard ruler and then I'll show you how to do it with my preferred ruler. So when using a standard square ruler, the first thing you need to do is press the seams open. So press the seams rather, and I'm going to press them towards the green fabric. So with this square ruler, I'm going to line the 45 degree line that is on the ruler on top of your stitch line. So I'm going to line up the bottom and left edges at a bit more than four and a half inches. And then I'm going to cut along the right and the top edge. And I'm going to turn this unit round and I'm going to lay the ruler back down on top of it with that 45 degree line on top of the stitch line. This time I'm going to make sure that the bottom and left edges line up exactly at four and a half inches. And then I'm going to cut up the right and along the top. And so that is your four and a half inch square unit. So just put that to one side. Now I prefer to use the six and a half inch triangle square up ruler by Quilt in a Day. Now for this, you leave your units folded and you lay the four and a half inch line on the ruler on top of your stitch line and then you cut up one side and down the other. So I'm going to do that with the other three pieces. Now we need to press these pieces. So once again, I'm going to set the seam and then press towards the green fabric. And then I'm just going to finish these off by trimming those dog ears off. So now we're ready to lay these out in the block layout. So those are the pieces laid out in the block layout. And now I'm going to pin these top pieces to the middle section pieces. I'm going to take those over to the sewing machine and sew along that edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to return these to the block layout. There's no need to press yet. And I'm going to pin these bottom ones onto the columns. So I'm going to take these over to the sewing machine and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm going to press these seams in opposite directions and I'm going to press them towards the strip pieces. So this seam is going to come in and this seam is going to come in. These two seams are going to go out and these two seams are going to come in. So I'm going to start by setting the seam 
and then I'm going to press this one towards the center and flip it round and press the other one towards the center. The middle piece, I'm going to set those seams again. And this time we're going to press that towards the strip piece. So we're pressing it away from the center and we're pressing this one away from the center. And then the last column. Pop it back into block layout. And because we press those seams in opposite directions, when I pin them together, they're going to nest. So I'm going to start with this one. And these two seams are going to nest nicely together. And that really helps reduce the bulk at the seam intersection. So I'm going to take that over to the sewing machine and sew it with a quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm returning this to the block layout. I'm not going to press yet. I'm going to place this, these two together and pin and sew them in place. I'm going to take that over to the sewing machine and sew the last seam. Now I'm going to press these seams open to get a flatter finish. So I start by setting the seams and then I press it open from the back of the block. Just going to give this one a good press. So that is the first block of this quilt along completed. Well done. As I said before, there are some written instructions for this block and they are also on my website. The link is in the description of this video. Those instructions are going to be available on my website just for the 10 weeks of this quilt along. And then after that, you'll be able to purchase the book that accompanies this quilt along.